How's it going everybody? I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'd like to talk about how I track my expenses, my profits, how much ETH I've mined, and also how much that is costing me throughout the year. Today is December 26, uh, 2021, and we are a couple of days away from uh, pretty much the beginning of tax season and you having to declare your taxes for 2021. So over the last year, more and more like a year and a half, I've developed a very simple sheet that helps me along with, you know, other software and other tools that I use in order to track, you know, do like a basic estimate of how much I've spent on, you know, mining specific activities and purposes throughout the year. And this way it helps me when I declare my taxes for uh, 2021. So without rambling on too much, I'm just gonna get into it. Um, by the way, I'm gonna leave a link for this sheet in the description so you can download it. It's an Excel sheet. You can reuse it, repurpose it. I sort of relied on several resources online to uh, come up with this. So um, feel free to use it if you, if you want to as well. Uh, first things first, we start off with the purchased hardware and I usually put in the name uh, of the hardware. I categorize it, whether it's a GPU, PSU, uh, CPU, whatever it is, source, uh, whether it's Newegg, a local store, uh, local is usually Facebook Marketplace or any local kind of like marketplace uh, besides the physical store. Um, you can add the serial number if you want to. I chose not to, um, but I'm thinking of going back and adding, adding these price. Uh, tax, shipping, uh, discount. I know sometimes for bundles, you might get a little bit of discount. Newegg was offering those for a while. And then uh, the price after, uh, I just included price and tax. I mean, you can, uh, here, let me actually, I'm, I should probably amend this. Plus shipping, plus usually, this is like usually a negative number there. I know I'm going to do this. Cool. Yeah, that works now. So my total investment is in this case, 6,500. All of these numbers, by the way, are examples. I mean, obviously an RX 580 is maybe right now 500 bucks. When I bought it, it was like close to 300, maybe even less brand new. So uh, I just put in whatever numbers in this sheet so that um, you know, I just provide some examples and you can plug in your own numbers. The next thing uh, to look at is any sold hardware that you've, you know, sold throughout the year. I had a couple of cards that uh, were fairly old and that I was able to sell at a, a very good markup because of the, of the price. So, um, you, you can, I, I included the purchase price, I included the sold price and obviously any profit or loss. Um, and I sum it up for my total profit and I use basically my, um, total costs and then obviously minus my total profit so that I can calculate my net cost. But one of the th other things that I also look at under net costs is, um, my resale value. Uh, obviously with this type of hardware, it doesn't, uh, it retains some of the value over, over time and, uh, I took a conservative number of 60%. Um, the actual number is, could be, you know, is a lot more than that these days. Some of these GPUs a year later are still at 100%. Uh, but I chose 60% as a quite a conservative number. Uh, so my upfront cost, and, and I know, by the way, I know that there's like multiple schools of thoughts over here, two schools of thought. You either include the resale value in your uh, break even time, or you do not include it. I personally choose to include it because these are assets that can be sold on the market. They can be repurposed and they're still valuable and useful. So I generally rely on, um, the, the resale value when I calculate my numbers. Uh, my upfront cost is 6,500, my resale value, and I only include the GPU resale value. Again, it's just to add to the, con the conservative nature of this estimate. I assume that most other parts won't have a significant resale value, especially like motherboards and maybe RAM. Um, and then my, my profit, and then this is my uh, net cost. So basically it is my upfront cost minus whatever I'm gonna sell the GPUs for, minus any profit that I have made. And this is my net cost uh, for uh, this hardware. Now I then track uh, 
my Ethereum payouts and the transactions. And I'm a little bit meticulous with this. Uh, I usually put the date, I put the amount, I include the fees. Um, this is my net. Uh, I also include the hash, uh, the hash transaction. Um, this way, if I ever want to go back and see if these numbers are accurate, I can just go and find the hash transaction on Etherscan and find all the information and uh, what network Ethereum and whether it's uh, what pool I'm, I'm on. And obviously the total mined Ethereum throughout uh, the year. Now, one thing to keep in mind that I personally do not sell all of the mined Ethereum. I keep a little bit on the side. So I also track any sold uh, Ethereum and uh, the quantity, the amount, the spot price uh, at that time, uh, any fees, uh, and ultimately, you know, the total sold Ethereum with the total sold value uh, at the time of selling uh, this uh, Ethereum. So uh, the price of hardware, uh, the kind of value and profit of any sold hardware, the net costs, uh, which is this number, how much ETH I've mined and how much ETH I've sold. Then I go and combine this with, I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. I think this captures everything. No, let me do this. Okay. Uh, then I go and look at basically my daily breakdown. My and this is sort of how much every day I am uh, burning in electricity and how much profit I am making every single day. Again, all of these numbers are uh, examples. So I put my wattage, this is my wattage, my price per kilowatt hour, which is, uh, I assume 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, the ETH, ETH price, this is a number that changes, you know, it depends, I guess. I usually check it every couple of days and I, you know, put the most up-to-date numbers. So all of these numbers change every day or sometimes every payout that changes or every week, whatever that is how much ETH I'm making per day, the cost of making that ETH, and then how much revenue and then profit after I, I, I eliminate my electricity costs. So this is my Canadian or dollar profit uh, per day. Um, and then I calculate two values, the time to break even uh, with the resale and then the time to break even without uh, the resale of uh, these assets. And this is a number that I generally care about. So again, these numbers don't use these numbers are actual representation of, of what is actually happening because this is completely in, inaccurate, the actual number. Uh, right now, if you buy any GPU, you're looking at a maybe a, a break even time of roughly 200, 250 plus days and in some occasions, depending on the price that you're getting it. So double this roughly or maybe more. Uh, but I generally look at this, so I know that my time to break even is my daily profit uh, minus, uh, let me see over here, G60. Yeah. So I, so I know that uh, my time to break even with the resale is my net cost. This is how much things have cost me minus how much I've already sold. So the difference between, between them. Uh, divided by the daily profits uh, every single day uh, in, in Canadian. And I know that I will need 46 days to break even with the resale of uh, my GPUs. If I do not wish to re resell my uh, GPUs, then it is my total initial investment, not including uh, any resale. And I also excluded hardware uh, profit. You can include that. And, I guess that would make a difference actually. I would, I'll probably include it. Um, let's see here, let's, let's do this plus this minus that. Okay. Oh, sorry, minus this. Um, so basically your total investment minus the profits on the sold hardware. Let me fix this here. Okay. Uh, minus uh, any amount that you've sold uh, divided by your yearly my, by your daily uh, profits and then you're going to notice that your time to break even with resale is significantly lower than your time to break even without resale and again these numbers are not actual representation of what is going on today everything over here 
is just an example that I put in just to kind of guide you and tell you how I've structured my uh, Excel sheet. You can take this and plug in your numbers based on the prices that you've bought, based on how much electricity, you know, you're paying, how much uh, wattage you have, how many, how much ETH you're mining per day, how much you've mined, how much you've sold. There's just a whole lot of variables in this sheet and um, you'll basically be able to get a better uh, estimate of your circumstances and then you can also use that to track any sort of expenses profits uh, for tax purposes for uh, next year so this is uh, this is going to be it i just wanted to make a short video showing you how I've, how i've personally structured things if you have a better way of you know setting this up please put it down in the comments if you think that i've missed anything over here personally i'm not a tax professional so um you know don't use this as tax advice or anything like that i will be working with a, a an accountant and we're going to be through, going through this meticulously because again i'm not a tax professional so i can't advise you on what to do when it comes to tax purposes but this is what i've done to track uh you know my hardware expenses and profits and uh daily uh, electricity usage and revenue and profit and, and and everything in between all right it's gonna be the end of the video. Thanks very much for uh, for watching. If you have anything, put it down in the comments and I'll be happy to respond. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.